All right, here's a, another problem dealing with the sonic boom. In this case, we have a plane that's flying at 1.5 times the speed of sound, as we saw in the previous video, that causes a, a cone-shaped wall of sound, uh, where the sound at the edge of that cone is very, very loud. That's called a sonic boom. And of course, that, sound, that cone will go all the way down to the ground. And as the plane flies at 1.5 times the speed of sound, so does this cone of sound travel. And so how long will it be before this cone reaches the, um, the listener down here on the ground, the observer, from the moment the plane is directly overhead with the observer? So in this case, we have ourselves a triangle. The plane is flying at a height of, height of 5,000 meters. And so first what we want to do is find out what this angle is right here. So that means if we know this angle right here, we can figure out this angle. Or of course, we can find out this angle because these would be two ulterior alternate interior angles as we call them, and they are equal to each other. All right, so the equation to find that angle is that the sine of theta is equal to the velocity of sound divided by the velocity of the plane. So in this case, velocity of sound is V of sound. Velocity of the plane, we said, was 1.5 times velocity of sound. And that would then be equal to the sine of theta, which of course means that the sine of theta is equal to 1 divided by 1.5, or theta is equal to the arc sine of 1 divided by 1.5. So let's figure out what the, um, way, what the angle is of that cone. So 1 divided by 1.5, take the arc sine of that, and it says 41.8 degrees. So theta equals 41.8 degrees. All right, so that's this angle right here. So this angle here is theta. That means this angle here is theta as well, which is 41.8 degrees, which means we can figure out this distance. So x equals question mark. Looking at this triangle, this is the adjacent side to the angle. The definition of the tangent, the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So in this case, the uh, tangent of theta would be equal to the um, opposite side, which is, um, hmm, no, I know the angle. So what I need to do here is I want to find the adjacent side, which is x. So this is equal to 5,000 meters divided by x. And I'm looking for x. I can say x is equal to 5,000 meters. When I put the x over here and then divide by the tangent of theta. Since theta is 41.8 degrees, this is equal to 5,000 meters divided by the tangent of 41.8 degrees. 5,000 meters divided by 41.8, take the tangent of that, equals, and we have x is equal to 5,592 meters of distance. So the cone is 5,592 meters away from the observer when the plane is directly overhead. Now, how long will it take then for this cone of sound to reach this observer, and of course, that cone of sound travels just as fast as a plane, 1.5 times the speed of sound, and the speed of sound is about 340 meters per second. So V of the plane, which is equal to 1.5 times V of sound, which is equal to 1.5 times 340 meters per second. So V of the plane is equal to, half a times that is 170, plus that would be 510 meters per second. Second, so if the plane is at a height of 5,000 meters, which is about 16,000 feet, the time would be equal to distance divided by velocity. The distance is 5,592 meters, and the velocity of that cone-shaped sound region is 510 meters per second. And so, if I uh, divide that number by 510, I get about 11 seconds. So. 11 seconds after the plane passes overhead, boom, you'll hear a very loud sound if you're about 5,000 meters below that plane. That's how you do that problem.